Welcome back to Pokemon. We're the Bombardiers. My name is Ray. I'm here with Andrew and Elias. And Hi. this is my... <laughs> this is my ASMR voice. And we're going to take a nice meditative trip through the lands of Pokemon, despite Elias's attempts to do otherwise. He's I'm derailing sorry. this train. <laughs> 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 this is a new Patreon reward. Subscribe with $100 per month and I will do a customized ASMR video just for you. Not safe for work is acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes $100 every month for me. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I'm Andrew. That's Ray. We've got Eli here as well. Yeah, uh, I, was, I promised you guys a story about stairs. Tell us a story. So... When I was a kid, we lived in Ohio. Mm -hmm. I was like, I think I was about seven or eight. Um, I uh, was a kid and I was in a sleeping bag. Elijah. I had mm -hmm. the sleeping bag pulled all over, over my entire body. Uh -huh. And I was like crawling around like an inchworm on the second Aww. floor. Like an idiot. <laughs> um, I was coming from the bathroom. I don't know how I came from the bathroom, but I came from the bathroom, and then I am in, and then I was like looking for my bedroom, which was mm -hmm. right next to the staircase, yeah. and I felt an opening. I'm like, this must be the this must be the place, and I went walked right in, and apparently it was not the place. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. So no. Seven year old me. Oh, in no. a sleeping bag, just slid right down the stairs. Oh no! It was awesome. It was so I feel great. Like I've done things like that before. That is hilarious. I used was... to slide downstairs in my own house in a sleeping bag all the time. That shit was so fun. Yeah, when you when you are like not, when you're uh, ready for it. Yeah, it's a it's a great time. Not yeah. when you're wearing a sleeping bag and you can't see anything. Yeah, that would suck. You're a dumb idiot kid. You know what? I, like, I felt the, fine after that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was great. Just like the weirdest feeling that I've ever experienced is either thinking there's an extra step or thinking there's not one more step when I'm wrong. Oh, that's terrible. Mm. Yeah, like, especially oh. like, so it usually happens at the top of stairs for me, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it can happen at the bottom of stairs as well when I like, I think oh, there's yeah. another step and I just step really firmly into the ground and I'm like, whoa, how did that oh, get there? Weird. <laughs> just feel like you're just slamming your foot down. It feels I, like the oh. letters on the screen kind of said Rose. <laughs> uh, well, they do, because it's Rose Tower. But they're not really letters. Oh, nice. I actually cracked my kneecap only a little bit. Like, I didn't have to wear um, a brace. I just had to rest it. But I actually cracked oh, wow. um, my kneecap, which, by the way, hurt like fuck. Doing that exact thing where I was on the second to last steps in my own apartment. Um, this was Oof. years ago. But I thought I was in the final step, so I went to go, like, step down on the ground, and there was nothing there. So oh, I kind of, like, lunged forward, caught myself, but I had a puppy, my dog Riley. And mm. um, he was still he was still being house-trained, and he wasn't perfect about it. So he had actually peed on my stone hallway, Ooh, because we had stone boy. flooring in the whole, heart, in the, in the whole house. I hear, so I, I stepped you. down. You can hear me? I can hear you, like, banging your fist for emphasis. I'm sorry. <laughs> do that sometimes. Gotta do it. No, so I, like it. I stepped down really hard oh, no. on the stone, stepped immediately into puppy pee, slipped with my leg going Ooh. right out from under me, and then came down with all of my weight on my other knee oh. on the stone floor and cracked my kneecap. Ooh. It is oh, the man. only time I have cried as an adult from physically hurting myself, and it sucked so bad. I believe that it because, like, like it. Oh, do you get up immediately boy. after that on the bad knee, or do you, like, lay there in puppy pee? It was... <laughs> <laughs> I did there not lay pee. there in puppy pee, but I did... Well, no, I did for, like, five minutes as I cried and was mm -hmm. like, I think I just destroyed my knee. And then I got up and had to wash it off, and it was just so swollen and so bruised. And I still kind of have a scar from, like, where I came down. It's just this little shadowy mm, boy. circle right on my knee that has never gone away. That reminds me of when I was impact. bringing my dog in from outside back in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. it, it was during the winter, um, like early winter, where it was just getting cold and like snowy and slippery. Mm -hmm. And I slip directly onto this the small set of like three stairs that lead into the porch that lead to mm -hmm. the house. And Oof. 
I tear like this big chunk of skin off of right under my kneecap. <gasps> oh, ow! Ooh. And like, Moxie's a pretty like happy. Yeah. She was a pretty happy-go-lucky dog. She would pretty much like mm -hmm. not get phased by anything. Mm -hmm. This is one of the very few times when she like Aww. turned back and like stayed there without me holding her collar. She was a very social Aww. dog and loved to run away and like talk to other dogs. But she like came back and checked on me mm -hmm. and I got her collar. Aww. And she's like, "Hey, baby okay, girl, it's okay." She was like such a smart dog that knew how to interact with uh, people so well that like I have a distinct memory of her, you know, trying to talk to me in the way that dogs do, like with all the different sounds they make. Like it wasn't just barks; it was like, ow, 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 ow. and I was just like, "Why don't you just use your words?" And then it like it hit me shortly after that. But I was like, I was like, she's doing the best she can, <laughs> and it sounds like Aww. just fucking hell. But I love it. She's doing the best she can with what she's got. Exactly. Aww. Such a good girl. She was. She would greet me the same mm. way every time I got home. Mm. She would always go, woo woo. <laughs> oh, that's super cute. She was a cutie. That is adorable. It's super cute. Yeah, she cute. was such a good dog. Aww. Mm. My smart dog was named Julie, and she was my favorite. She was a little Lazo Opso that I got as a rescue. Oh, I don't mm -hmm. even know what Lazo Opso she is. Was you should look her up. They're, you should look them up. They're adorable. She was a very hairy little dog, and she's super cute. Um, mm -hmm. Oh my god, my that's 17th, adorable! <laughs> I got her for my seventeenth mm -hmm. birthday present. My mom took me to the pound. They led me to this room with all these like free roaming dogs that were completely adorable, and they're all mm -hmm. chill and sweet. And they come up to me, and I'm like, "Oh, I don't know how to decide. They're all so sweet. I feel so bad." And then out of nowhere, this like little gray and white bullet just slams into me from behind. And um, that was Julie. And she just like would not stop leaping into my arms. And I was like, well, I guess I'm going home <laughs> with you. <laughs> so she was so smart. So, so smart. Yeah. She she never ran away. But Believe when she it. did, she'd actually take um, sidewalks versus my dog, Teddy, who would like shake off his, le his leash and then go screaming through streets, which was terrifying. <laughs> I could never get a hold of him for two hours. But Julie was very smart. sounds terrifying. Yeah. She was a smart Ugh. girl. Moxie would go I'm through the woods funny. and sometimes, like, on the side of the road, but not actually mm -hmm. on the road. But, like, the very first day we got her, she ran away. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. That'd be and horrifying. And we were terrified. Ow. Well, we yeah. were, like, calling all our neighbors, which we didn't really have oh, any no. neighbors because we lived so remotely. Mm -hmm. And, like, we were like, uh oh, what if a fisher cat gets her? Or what if a mountain lion or, like, oh, a, a coyote cat? or something? A fisher cat. Uh. I don't exactly know how to describe it, but the baseball team in Manchester is named after them. I'm going to look it up because I don't know what it is. It's also <laughs> kind of called... It's it's kind of like a a badger-looking thing. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. Mushroom, mushroom. Oh, my God. Sorry, yeah. Snake, it looks like a mean a honey badger. Yeah. Those things are <laughs> fucking nasty. And, like, I have a story about Sounds them like later. It. But, um... Mm -hmm. Anyway, th <laughs> three hours after she got out, Moxie was, like, at our front door... Literally knocking because she, instead of like dragging her claws down, she would mm -hmm. put her claw against it, pull it back Aww. slightly, and then let it come down. That's so she didn't, adorable. she didn't scratch. She just knocked. Oh, that's super sweet. Um, that's that's but very cute. There was one time when our cat, which uh, now lives with my sister's ex-husband, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. got out and basically just chilled at the front door for forty-five minutes, mm -hmm. and we didn't even know she had gone. Like, she wasn't making noise mm. or anything. I mean, she was apparently making noise because my mom heard her because she was, like, meowing to get back. Yeah. But right. it kind of freaked me out when I realized that she had been out there because, like, that cat was kind of mean to us, but, like, wouldn't stand a chance against the vicious wild animal. Yeah, completely. Right. So sad. Ugh. Yeah. Moxie, well, however, apparently stole dinner from a fucking raccoon or something. Because she came back with, like, a little cut on her nose mm -hmm. and, like, a dead fish. Fun! Ooh, fun. A dead fish! Yeah. Love it! I was like, Moxie? That's what well, happened here? Is inventive. Also, yeah. are we using um, Wooloo or is Hop using Wooloo? Hop is using, is using double. I am here for it. Double. Yeah. No, he's Wooloo. Guys, come on. Wooloo. It's not always Wooloo. Wooloo! <laughs> Once a wooloo, always a wooloo? Always a wooloo. That's dub, dub wooloo. 
I love Wulu. He must be Wulu forever. Nice. He looks you know like the a shiny version of Wulu is a black sheep? <gasps> oh my god, yes. It's great. Oh, I want one. How do I get one? You have to uh, catch a bunch of Wulu in a row. Really? Yeah. Well, that's, neat. that's the way to make actually, it easier. You don't actually, actually have to. Uh, chain Chaining in this one doesn't actually affect sh uh, shiny rates, as far as I know. Uh, but yeah, if, you, if you if you take down like at least like five hundred in a in a single game file, then it increases your chances. I'm yeah, sorry, if, if you battle if you battle five hundred, five hundred is like the maximum. But like each number, that each each one you get like within a certain group. Um, once uh -huh. so, it's, there's like tiers of, of frequency and like likelihood for shinies. But your uh -huh. your streak for chaining is saved, no matter what happens between that streak. So like you can fight other Pokemon and it won't throw off your streak. Mm. That's a lot. That's the explanation oh, yeah. of chaining. Chaining now is that like oh, okay. it's the same as it was, except with more wiggle room. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> yeah, I, I work out. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know if this was the right move for Orgy Gang, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm sure. It's what be what did you use? Uh, I I gave him close combat. Uh oh. Oh, close That's combat fine. is useful. I I have it on my uh, Zamazenta. It's like oh, one of his it, best moves. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, good right, right, choice. Right. Not really. His He's double just sucks. Fence. Yeah, he does. I can't believe that Hop just keeps using this Pokemon for a bunch of Pokemon that he's resistant to. Or he resists. That are resistant to. Blah, 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 blah. Words are <laughs> I know exactly what you mean, and I agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> Impeach Trump, indeed. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's been approved. They're going to do the vote on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yay! Hashtag Bill yep. Politics for yay! Yeah. <laughs> and it's not going to lead Let's to anything. Let's make America but, you know, great we'll again and you don't impeach think so? Trump. I mean, it'll the impeachment will happen, but the removal probably will not. Like what happened with Clinton? <laughs> exactly. Mm. They were going yeah. to remove it'll Nixon, though. Uh, but, yeah. Okay, so this is a dumb question. If he's impeached, then he can't run again in 2020. Isn't that correct? That's not true. It's oh, that's only if he true. gets removed. Huh? He actually might oh, be yeah. the first uh, president to face impeachment and then get reelected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Him and we'll Boris figure Johnson. that out later, guys. Yep. Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys for more Hashtag No Politics. We'll see you Bye. later. Bye-bye. Bye. So I do think this would be a good Patreon award, I'm telling you. People want pervy That's... ASMR. I think this you're absolutely my... right. Do Jesus you want Christ. me to fluff your Garfield? No, you're terrifying. <laughs> Andrew, do you have a thought? That, that's fine. Do you want to <laughs> <laughs>